Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna be reacting to the this vid right here, which is the easy the easy war within guide. It's basically a guide on things you can and can't do during this time period, certain time period of the war within thing. So yeah, this is for those who going to see it early anyways that's all I wanted to get report across I just wanted to give a report across about that so anyways without further ado let's get right to the actual vid shall we but do to do that Let's break down the war within early access. It starts August 22nd, and there's quite a lot of things to get into. So, in yeah. terms of time, 3 p.m. Pacific U.S., 6 p.m. Eastern U.S., 11 p.m. U.K., I, I, midnight cool. Central European summertime, and luckily for them, 8 a.m. over in Sydney. Now, the way expansion launch will work is that the introductory quest will just trigger in-game at that time. So, you can be logged in, and you won't need to do anything, and I cool. certainly do recommend you log in well beforehand, because login queues, of course, could happen. Now, that'll take you through the introductory quest line, after which you'll be in Kazalgar, but in its advanced access state, and that does mean that quite a lot of things are going to be different, like your keybinds, if you've done them right, because we just published our deep dive into keybinding over at Bellular.Games, as oh, well as that's a keybinding tool, too. That's and a crazy. host of other guides, and a new lore walking episode. I like it a good way. There's going to be much more for the War Within's launch, and seriously, over there, you guys are... This, is good. this might difference. be a good thing. It is the best place to support my team. Ah, sure, but big no, plans you guys for think it. about that. And I mean, we've, we've had a few hundred... If you have your own things about it, I'd get momentum, that. Has yeah. just got the two oh, well, fired use your own up. kind of okay. keybinds, so I Let's talk about what you can and can't yeah. do in early access for the War Within. All the right, entire right, come campaign on. and all the side quests are going to be available, and that means that, yes, you can level fully from level 70 to 80, and once you hit level 71, you'll get access to hero talents, and those you'll have huh? maxed out by level 80. Now, there are no restrictions on oh, how so you, you can get them all you can do by level 80. as much that's as you cool. want, no penalty, no restriction, no penalty? just go play the full thing. Damn, that's as you cool. level, you'll find both dungeons and delves, both of which are active during early access, but they're a little bit limited. So, dungeons are limited to normal and follower mode only, so no heroic, no mythic zero, or mythic plus. And to level 80, those normal dungeons will be dropping eye level 541 non-upgradable gear, which is quite low, but I mean... I get why they limited access. that. The entire point is uh, that you're not really worried about... At least normals are accessible. Like As for delves, That's they will be thing. open, but you'll be limited yeah, to a maximum I'm, we're tier work And at max level, that'll be eye level 554 gear. It's not out yet until the actual release. be upgradable. Now, this is just going to be enough for you to basically try out all the delves, level up in them a bit, and just start leveling Bran. But really, that is about it. Yeah. As for PvP, there ain't much during early access. Like, war mode is there, but proper gear progression and that sort of stuff isn't, and the honor cap will be set to 4,000, increasing to 14,000 at launch. Then there's Renown. Oh, like a PvP Renown stuff, will be that's capped cool. at 25, and of course, one of the nice things is that your Renown, Renown is warband wise. Oh, now, yeah, right. Out the cap it, of 25 it, will matter it's, it's, that it's much, very, it's because it's world an inspiration quest, from world events, and uh, like the big This version quest, is much better, thankfully. Only, only 25, not the first annoying, like, high 80. Within, which, of course, course will be in the 27th for the US. Uh, it's only a quarter of what it used to be. So That's pretty good. Your early access reputation sources will be quite limited. You could easily They'll max out really quickly. That's pretty fair. That sort of thing. You'll get a little That's bit fair. of progression with your announce, but nothing serious for endgame. Then, for professions, well, they are active, and you can level them up. Well, but there they, are restrictions on specialization points. Basically, any of those weekly oh, those sources of them limitations. won't be available. We're not 100% sure if actually specs are just entirely disabled, or if it's only the weekly sources oh, You can make things stronger. That's that actually off. kind of epic. Either way, you get the point here. What they want you to do hey. is play the expansion, enjoy the content, but not get any sort of unfair advantage. So, to make that clear, make it really here's fair. what won't be available, and here's when content will become active. World quests and world events, with the world events being this expansion's equivalent to the likes of, say, the Tuscar Soup and uh, such Dragonflight, those will be open with our first weekly reset, which is just a few hours after those the game will be launches open on the 26th. Okay, At least yeah, the US, I, I think that's like that. six hours after launch. Heroic Dungeons <laughs> That'd be unfair will also to... be open with the full launch of the game. And remember, Heroic yeah. Dungeons drop They're making it fair for everybody, that's good. quite a bit better than you will have remembered from, say, Dragonflight launch. And yeah, because they don't want to make the so unfair mistake. 
mistake. Be Again, their, so like, preseason source. If they have Here, it before. As for PVE gear upgrades, it seems they won't really be available during early access. You'll have Ouch. noticed the likes of delves and normal dungeons, which will be your best early access sources of gear. Well, they're dropping non-upgradable gear. So it's again it's still very okay. clear, Blizzard do not really intend this uh, to be something where you know you can just go hyper game, get a kitted out character. Also, the Great Vault will not be active at all during early access. Okay. Meaning, Sorry, yes, man. early access is about seeing content, exploring that's the world, how it goes. and not getting back to the gear grind. So, they're make, well, they're making it fair for everyone, that's why I'm work. saying that. Let's talk about the seasonal content so you know what's on the horizon. Season 1 is where the real end game kicks off, and that oh, begins wow. September 10th for the US and 11th for the EU. Now, this is when the full range of content starts to become available, and I say starts because it isn't it, everything. So, EU is still going to do it one day later. Week 1 of Season 1 brings us the first yeah, one day delay. plus normal and heroic difficulties oh, well. for the raid. Mythic Zero Dungeons it's still pretty fair wait between delves them. Tier four through it's only one day difference. It's not that bad. Along with that, we also get the new Mage Tower style delve, really which is basically just Dion a boss fight why. against one of Zalatat's yeah. lieutenants. Now, that's also, However. of course, when Season 1 of PvP will officially start, and that's one that's actually kind of exciting this time around. Basically, that's because wow, Battleground like Blitz is now official, like which essentially means you can do solo queue, raided Battlegrounds, and you can properly gear up a character without having to do Arena, and of course, that is with Blizzard adding a new Battleground to the mix. Then finally, the Heroic Dungeon wow. queue will switch over from being all of the launch expansions to being the Season 1 dungeon content. What that basically means is our character, City of Threads, Stone Vault, Dawnbreaker, and uh, then some of our Shadowlands favorites, yeah. Mist of Tyrannus Scythe and Necrotic Wake, as well as Siege of Boralus and Grim Batol. And that we, brings I think we're going to return those. So week two brings Mythic Raid, Mythic Boss huh. Dungeons, LFR, Wing 2, I love and they were going to return mode. stuff. That would be funny if they did. Being our new and like some like way stuff of doing a raid. It's very much launching in a V1 state. So you can do the solo or with friends, and it's only the uh, final boss. Unfortunately, there's not right? so much good about kill Shadowlands. kill the final boss it's in a, a fairly really like, easy pared down fashion. And it essentially it's, exists though that's the worst less to give you a full narrative raid experience and more to just let people continue the end game campaign. I've seen it myself, and it's not that good. Do the rest of the campaign. I mean, I still, rather than I still tried to enjoy it, but the final LFR wing. I still do it. Which on week three, which is September twenty, I kind of felt like it got repetitive after a while, so I eventually stopped. Final wing of LFR. And with that, that's well, my that's basically about it. it for the launch of this expansion. But that won't be I'll all. Tell you Blizzard have actually recently said that number one opinion. is going to be a Warcraft Direct, which that's will all. be some sort of stream giving us a bunch of updates later on in the year. And they've said that October this, will this, see so I guess basically it's a like quiet. events and that kind of thing go on because it's the 20th anniversary these vids are low. of the game. And then we've also seen that a more, re more reasonable decibels zero point five has hit quiet. Blizzard's test servers. Of course, we can't really tear into that yet, but Ooh. basically, it does seem that they're ready for quite a bit of content afterwards. If you're wondering what oh, you should I... do, right? Well, yeah, it'll be a bit strange Go. logging into the 22nd and having to wait like two and a half weeks for what we would usually just uh, be like thinking about for our WoW content. But I wouldn't really worry. There is a shitload of stuff to do. Number one, with this, there's no better time to level your alts, and War Within has even got a nice little boost in the form of your Warband bonuses. So you get a 5% XP boost for every every level 80 with that capping at a 25% boost for having a total of five. Now, if you combine that with the war mode XP boost, then you really will be just flying through the levels. So that's one thing for you to do. The other then is side that's a quests. Good plus. You can do those to progress your renown. I like that. That'll be dead handy as well because they are a Because if you wide. have a lot so of ults, it'll make but them also easier level up to some level ults. up. What you can do is just level up your main character by, of course, doing the campaign and a few side quests here and there. What I then plan to I do is at least level up my other two alts by basically basically 100%ing the first two zones and the last two zones. That should be enough for me to get a fairly different leveling experience on every one of those characters. Yeah. I'll literally see all of the content, but of course, because our renowns are account wide, I'll actually still be getting full progress on all of those. And while I don't think we'll be able to get anywhere near to the renown cap of 25 during early access, we will be able to make a start and that will be quite handy. I mean, Early on, at about rank like 7 or 8 for three of the renowns, you get veteran gear that's item level 584, so 
even just that as an early target will be handy for getting That's other characters geared up. Good then, of course, there's up, professions yeah. where the usual expansion launch thing applies, where the gathering ones That's are pretty probably good going to be a really big money maker if you just want simple, reliable money. Basically, early on, people just go mad trying to level their professions fast, and that usually sends the price of materials soaring. The only thing, though, is that with specialization points only kicking off That's... with the full war within launch, we could That's see the market dynamics thing. change yeah. a little bit, but I do think the typical wisdom of just gathering being a high ROI activity early on, I think that will still hold. So that'll be more than enough to keep you going for a few days. Once full release happens, you'll be able to hop into heroic dungeons and ideally get yourself decked out in pre-season best in slot gear. Then of course, renowned for each faction, and that just means yeah. doing plenty of events, plenty of world quests, and a few unique things that are there for each renowned. As an example, with Ash Kahet, it's actually three characters and you can progress with one of them each week, and it's even got its own zone specific currency. So there's quite a lot there. There. And then there's all the other stuff like knocking down your zone specific. Oh man, this sounds all cool. All the rares too, I guess. Oh, I Get like the this. But also some of the unique things that they'll drop, as well as collecting the questing and dungeoning transmogs, which honestly this time around look nice. really good. Especially uh, honestly, I gotta say something. Now, the other main thing that I'll be doing That's will cool. be oh, practicing. Doing that there. Also means it's a perfect time to um, hone my key I bindings mean, and hone my UI. If he did like the actual a gameplay, that'd be guy for doing that. Well, the good news is. We've released oh, a video the on the of channel, but if you want to take a look over at Bellular Talk Games, we've got a full written guide. We've oh, I didn't, guide I didn't realize this, you'll enjoy this video is a little shorter than it usually So you can support does. us there, get even more content, and hours of more podcasts to listen videos, to while you yeah. do things over in Castle so, yeah. But if you want to check out another video, well, I definitely get that recommend the Keybinding one. Before I, see I think you'll get a quick. lot of value out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just let it play a little longer. He doesn't say any thing else. He, yeah, he's like. Sorry about that, I was just. Anyways, so that's the end of the vid. He was just crediting. Oh, so he was just crediting everyone here. Make sure to go to the, this dude's channel. His name is Barely or Warcraft. I forgot to mention that earlier to you guys. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sit sleep for your positive like, comment, and subscribe. For not only my channel, but for his as well, because he's a cool guy. And he's also genuine of what he does. He is genuinely honest about what he shows, so... Give him a big appreciation for that. And also, sincerely for, forget to have the notification bell, not only for me, but also do him a favor too with that. Share his vid and then with others as well as my vid about him with others it's just universal love that's what i was trying to say there anyways without further ado i'll see you guys in my next vid which could be me doing the actual expansion itself tomorrow in the afternoon because that's when it's coming out at 3 p.m yeah i'm in 3 p.m in the u.s tomorrow Peace out, my dude to do that. That was easy. Oh, yeah.